here. Yeah. So you want some insight? Okay. So here's the thing. You'll be working your ass off and at the end of a 12 hour shift when Maureen on bed 13 on the seventh floor decides to poo some blood, you'll be bleeped. Be required to imminently put your finger up a bum or they'll require you thoroughly a handover. And the look on the faces of some of those seniors will convince you that your medical license is in jeopardy. And what's worse, 95% of the cases, there's nothing to be reported. No tumours, no masses, no dangling hemorrhoids, just a good old brown nugget. Sitting there, so innocently, making you feel guilty for borderline assaulting the patient in the first place. And the smell, oh, let me tell you about the smell. See, they teach you nothing about the smell at medical school. Look, check, feel, check, tone, check, smell. Mr. I was never on the examination checklist, but I'm here like an uninvited father-in-law. Check. You think you can get away with this thinking, if I just follow the steps of the procedure and attach myself from my index finger mentally, it'd be like it never happened. Like playing a video game, in and out. But as soon as Maureen's whiff of half digested coronation chicken hits the back of your throat, you know it's real. You're really here. You have arrived. You're engulfed by this weird anatomical cavity. And this is where you're gonna have your existential crisis thinking, my God, this must be Maureen's revenge for everything that I've ever done. She knows I'm vegetarian. So kids, make sure you cut your nails, double glove, and use two packets of lube, no matter what angel behind the nurse's desk tells you to do. Because once you open the floodgates, a thin sheet of plaster does very little to protect you from this enlightening experience that lies ahead. On the way out, of course, she bleeds a litre of half-digested blood. You call the Perius team, you give her some IV fluids and make sure that the major hemorrhage protocol has commenced. She lives to see another day and tells you how glad she is that you came up at the right time and examined her, even though your eye bags were down to your knees. And then it hits you. You saved a life. So that's that, it's time for handover. Okay.